here we go right now we're testing this uh, low of 9.65 on a 550 put daily put chart now retail buyers were up here four days ago uh, MMTs well we have bids and we already featured that 550 bid and asking how we're going to steal that based on this super gap right now and that bid NAS 549 one Delta 549.80 and how we can get the bids down here between that 220 by 280 handle right now that last print was 9.65 here's a daily cap view right here MMTs once again MMTs it's always uh, an enjoyment it's Monday morning at 6:26 a.m. Pacific Standard Time 312 2012 how to steal that wholesale bid again and how do we do that well we're doing it live we're not after the fact we're before the fact okay that's the nice thing about what we do and the evidence is where the close is um, we had talked about stealing these bids and on a put chart which most people have never seen and you can always sign up for these option alert type services that we have uh, to get these king wholesale bids and here they are 950 by 970 220 between 270 on the low end in MMT and guess what watch between that 420 and 470 handle and you have a 550 by 580 market that comes into play but set that alarm anything below 650 you're going to be notified and depending on the kind of gap that Apple continues to do in the next three minutes we're going to be live so here are some of the last prints right there as they chase it up to that all-time high you're going to look for that key reversal and we're coming up to that one delta range and it's live it's pre-market and it's one of the uh, most famous topics it's called gap open up price exhaustion and how to steal the bids over here how they're going to take and mark down that 550 put on this opening bell gap and we're approaching that one delta mark in the smf mmt live trading platform our bids would be the lowest on the street no one would have a better price than the mmt's out on the street because the last print was 965 so therefore MMTs will de uh, demonstrate that live wholesale bid entry on that opening bell in about one minute. Here we go. We hit that high of 549.09. It's live. It's right on the opening bell print. There's the volume. It's increasing. There's the gap size. Here are those contracts that we talked about. And yes, they only took it to that one tier level. They didn't take it below the 650 level yet, but they'll work on doing it. And we're going to watch where the exhaustion of that level of resistance is between the buyers and the sellers. You can see the money flow. They're taking profit right on the opening bell. Minus 65 million. Look, it's right here in the live video. So watch to see how many highs that you get or you don't get you have 19 lows right now okay and you have 10 highs so as they slide that bid on that opening print within that one minute bell here we have the MMT platform open live right now and you can see that reversal right here on that six minute bar it's getting below that half bar and that's what you want MMTs when you're getting that short now here let's go ahead and hit that diamonds and let's uh, look at that six bar as it's reversing in the bid and ask and the bid and ask is 549.4 on the high reversal as of right now in three minutes between the buyer and the seller in the opening bell and once again gap open up on the opening bell and how do you trade 
and how do you get a series of more highs than lows out of the open and when you're right below them and you're on that six bar right here I'm just showing you where the six bar is and where the diamonds are that's what it is and here's your bid and ask your level two okay and what you're looking for MMT is uh, so far you got a dollar 17 range and the thing about that is you want to see the interday highs live right here on a six bar come right up as it's doing in the MMT platform and breaking those highs right here on that opening bell now if that does happen I believe a delta is at 549.80 but I want it to be known here as you're watching the bid in the ask, that live opening bell, what you're looking for is a lot more higher highs in the name. Okay? So it's you want highs are only 17, and you're, but you're falling short. You can't break that high, MMT. Opening bell, Netflix. Take a look at that left elbow to that support level. It's trying to come up off its lows. As you can see here, um, we have a low of 548.23, and we're printing back up toward that interday high. And we're seven minutes into the opening bell as the buyers and the sellers, that's the public model, squares their positioning. Right now, they have a dollar off of here. Remember, 549.80 is where we would have a limit to sell short into with the stop right there at about 549.93. And then you'd go up in the delta tree. One thing we're going to be looking at is we did preview the lower markets throughout the monthly expiration. Today is Monday. They never take as much premium day one of the five-day cycle of a monthly option expiration. However, when you get to that 550 price, as we're waiting for on that upside movement, is we got to break through them highs up to that delta range. And that's in the MMT platform. Here we are live with that breakout bar happening and you finally broke the interday highs. There you go, 25 interday highs. You have that live breakout right now. They're going to bring these puts down. Let's see if they get if you get triggered at 650 and below. But you got to get above 550 here. We got to 549.55 on this live opening bell. Here it is. Let's bring these down to that wholesale bid. Remember, lower markets are lower markets. It's day one of five of a monthly expiration as we let that break out. Look at that breakout. We had a low right here on Google Trade, too. Let us not forget that Google Trade. Let us not forget this live breakout. Let us not forget that those interday highs are cooking, and they are. And they got to 670 on the low, 965 on the close. We already know that. Look at that breakout. They're going to have, they're going to, have to get it above that 550. That 550. And remember, this is live in nine minutes of that opening bell. Look at here, three, six. There's that nine. Here's that 12. Look at that thing go. Now we got to get above the 550 area to get these put options down. And you'll be able to take a look at what the other premiums. We have a big, nice move back to the high on the price line at 653.38, 653.38, and it's making the higher highs. Here we are. That's that resistance level on that Apple computer right now. We have a 10-minute bell between the buyer and the seller and the closing pr uh, price at 545.17. We finally hit it, there it is. Can we break that 550? Look at that bid and that ask. 660 by 670, 660 by 665. That is the truth of it, getting down there and that wholesale bid. Can't, but like I told you, MMTs and pre-markets, you have to break above and let the long side run above the 550 area and just let it run. And there is that opening volume right there, which is important. So that you have a complete 
view live as you let the upside of those trades run into their resistance level. And I believe it got above a delta, and it's probably at a delta range right now. Here we go. Let's put it over here more in the video. I'm just letting you see it, that we got above these strike prices. There you go. We're going to have a 15-minute opening bell bar. Let's get that live MMT platform. I'm burning at 83.87 IR. I hit a 1 delta, 18.21 teenies, up 5.217, printing toward that delta ratio high right here, MMT. Look at that. Now, as we get to the climactic part of the highs throughout this 15-minute opening bell, we'll let that thing just run right up there. It's burning at 100 right now, and you can see it, MMT, 550.75. You can see those highs, 109 highs, 109 highs to that 550.75 area, and still climbing. Let that rip right to the top. And where price exhaustion will really start to get higher volatility as you put in this live market high right here on that opening bell. And once again, MMT, we did this in pre-market and we also covered it here. I had to draw more teeny lines. So, yes, there was teeny expansion at one time all right and so we're still breaking out and you can see the candles right here you can see the diamond highs now let's take a look at how many highs again mmt 123 highs just as anticipated now mmt let's take a look down here where these put options got down here to $6.20 on the 550 put. Now, we do know that the broader community is upside down on these put options. And why you have the advantage of making a market between the public buyer and the seller based on the discounted wholesale bid and the wholesale entry here now live print 610. That's that last print, marked down 3.55, negative dollars to that lower area that we talked about. And see, in order for you to get down there, because it's a monthly 317, 550 put, monthly, and it's the first day of five, they don't take as much premium away as they do on a Monday weekly expiration. They take a lot more premium out. So... The nice thing about it for the retail holder in these from, let's say, $30 all the way down here is, is that the MMTs already have their price levels to buy when this uh, stock has to be, the upside will have to be sold and then it will have to have its pullback. And you're in that exact 15-minute opening bell with Apple Computer live and we're going to leave it at 151 highs in that time frame. Not only that, we got that low bid down here to 595, 595. That's that low and that 550 put, and that's that 551.42. And there's that reversal bar coming in. There it is within that strong move. Now, what we look for is the imbalance ratios in the wholesale bid and ask versus the retail people. So as we put the wall of resistances in, we start looking at that lower end of that first market. That's just the first market level. Remember, they were 1235 on Thursday. Then they, uh, Friday was 965, was the last print. And then today, here you go, 595 is holding. You got resistance in the name. You have that three-minute reversal bar live right here, right now. So you got a triple diamond reversal. Now... It's all about the climactic high that equities put in, MMTs. And you can see where your diamond support is. Who cares about that? It's what the public model, it's what the public model took it from 548.23 to that interday high. So the bottom of that range held, and then you ripped it 
and then reversed it a dollar live right now and there's that live reversal bar and that's how they reverse when they get to climactic highs and this is live now what we can do because it is live is that was that climactic 551.42 and when you come out of the short you're short in there now live. So when you're cashing in, you're automatically getting net short, MMT. Because now, as it should do, that thing is unwinding from that climactic high. And that's how those things work. And that's how you make that adjustment on that opening bell. And you look across the broader market, everything is up. They're trying to get back to 13,000. We're trying to get back to 3,000 on the comp. Look at that S&P, S&P. Look for that 1386 handle, but it's got a lot of, lot of weight at 1378. Watch that 1378 rises too. Watch these nice sharp drops. Once again, MMTs, climactic prices, and the example that will be used in the trade management is exactly this right here and we did it quite well um the thing that you always want to know is that reversal bar has to be at least see a teeny is only 29 pennies but you had a one two three four five teeny to the teeny line to the diamond support line yes you did and that's how the reversal bars now the resistances are going to be back up here toward these higher diamond MMTs. And if you come up and you hit the half bar and you can't get above these two diamonds, then that would confirm that this price exhaustion was the great entry of coming out of the long up there and then buying to cover right now. Because as you come down to support, you have to get out of the uh, short. But what you're looking for is that every uptick is resistance at that half reversal bar this is what we're looking at so you buy the cover and you're out bam and you got your profit now you look at short and back up here and this is all on the opening bell and the first 19 minutes in price action what the public buyer and sellers live right here right now look at these double diamonds look at these diamonds up here we got to get up there we're not making it how do you like that so that's the buyer and the seller that's the climactic reversal. Once again, how to short that climactic reversal with that gap open ratio to that low and burn into that high and then developing with your entries and protecting. Watch the half bar resistance. This is the best way that the MMTs learn how to, how to make wholesale markets. And that's that reversal. And there's that 20 minute bell and there's that diamond resistance and that's the first 20 minute opening live reversal right back to the diamond climactic high look for the rest of them to do the same thing now Google's breaking higher over here up 385 on the day we have that diamond area right here which is a major resistance area is that that half bar could not close above there and that's a form of a one two and it's back down to the three teeny script right here and it's weak and there's that true reversal in the apple and that's how to short price exhaustion